Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make distress looking stickers with Canva. Let's start by creating a design. Click on create design and then we are going to do a custom size. I'm using 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. You can use any size that you like. Once you have this, uh, we are just going to go to elements and search for distressed sticker. Oh, oh sorry, this is template. So I'll go to elements and type in distressed sticker. We're just going to take a look at uh, what are the distressed stickers that are available in Canva. Okay, so you will be able to find a lot of uh, options over here. You'll see you'll see a lot of examples. We are not going to use any of these. We are going to make our very own distressed sticker. Okay, so basically what a distress sticker is a sticker that looks uh, worn out or torn or like very old kind of look it has and uh, we want to make that basically I want to show you an idea of uh, what are the stickers uh, that you can make you can make a uh, picture based or text based designs and uh, basically anything you can design you can make that into a distressed image now that we have a basic idea of what distressed sticker will look like I'm going to search for grunge or distressed in the elements and find some pictures that I can use to actually create my uh, uh, distressed sticker so I'm going to use a static image I don't want anything that is animated so I'm just going to scroll through and uh, maybe choose this one okay you will you will have a lot of options to choose from so whichever suits you you can select that everything works the same so I'm just going to resize this a little bit and then lock it in place once I have locked it in place I'm going to search for something called maybe a cartoon splash or something like a talking bubble something like that basically I'm going for a cartoon kind of um, distress sticker and uh, I am going to find my bubble over here I just typed in cartoon splash let's see what we can come up with yeah this one looks kind of cool okay let's use this one and it is a vector image and we are free to change the colors you can change the color to anything we want maybe later I will just change the colors okay now I'm going to add a text I'm going to just add a heading over here and just type in something that is cartoony and and after that we are going to just enlarge that uh, text and maybe change the color and the font I really like this font co called the ATMA Atma and uh, that kind of looks cartoony to me so I will be using that font uh, for my project over here and I'm just going to search for it or maybe I will just type it in since I'm not able to see it over here okay I think maybe I will just type it in now I'm going to just change the color of this to something bold like maybe red or yellow and I'm going to duplicate this okay I'll just duplicate this and give it another color so that it stands out better now it looks as if it's 3d okay so I'm going to change the color of the, the splash also the, the bubble I'm going to make it all red okay all right now I'm going to save this thing okay maybe I'll change this to nah that doesn't look good maybe I'll just change it back okay I'm going to just uh, download this thing as a solid file I'm not going to use a transparent file I'm going to use this as a solid file okay so if I bring this uh, grunge effect to the front you can see how uh, it looks it looks as if it is distressed so now what we are missing is the mask okay I'm going to create the mask first so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this entire thing over to another page okay maybe I'll just this uh, sticker I'm going to copy this over to the next page so that I can create um, a mask out of it I have created a lot of videos on how you can create frames and masks so I will actually link it over here and in the description box below so that you can take a look 
or you can go to my channel page and go to playlist and from there click on playlist and you'll be able to see this uh, playlist called how to create clipping masks so i have collated all the videos i have made regarding creating your own frames or your own mask and you can actually look through them and you'll get an idea of how we are doing things over here so basically i'm going to follow the same methods and uh, i will just uh, fast forward this as i have gone in detail in other videos So now that we have our mask ready, I'm going to upload it onto Canva and from here we are going to overlay this onto the first page, okay? So this is uh, it, I'm just going to okay, bring it forward, okay, I'm going to use this. You have to make sure that your distress or your crunch look is in front of your image and then you actually overlay that uh, mask you have created and uh, there you have it you have your distress sticker is ready however we need to get rid of the white background so i'm going to download this i'm going to download this and then re-upload it back like we did before and then we are going to just edit the image and get rid of the background one thing we have to make sure is that uh, the inner portion is not transparent we have to make sure it is white in color or whatever color that you choose so make sure it's not transparent if you feel that uh, the background uh, of the sticker is removed you can just make sure that you go to restore and then uh, you know, like just fill in the details accordingly Make sure you check your uh, image or your final image with a different background color so that you can see the outline of the sticker clearly. Your distress sticker is now ready. You can reuse the frame and create variations of the same thing. You can change the letterings, you can change images, etc. You can use different grunge or distress effect as well. What you need to make sure is that the grunge or the distress, distressed effect is always in the front. If you're unsure of how you can, you can create the frame or come up with a mask that you need to use, you can always check out my videos and the playlist that I have shared earlier. Okay, this is uh, two variations of this distressed looking sticker that we have created. I will show you some more examples. I have created one about uh, of a monkey and another one of this uh, superhero kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so you can actually make frames of anything. So play around with it and have fun. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.